OK, so let's say I want to find the coordinates of the stationary points for each of these curves. So stationary points exist when dy by dx is 0. So I need to find dy by dx for each of these, put that equal to 0, then solve the resulting equation. So for this first one, first of all, find dy by dx. So I'm going to get 6x minus 5. So the stationary points exist when dy by dx is 0. OK, so 6x minus 5 will have to be equal to 0. So add the 5 to both sides, divide both sides by 6. And so I have an x-coordinate of a stationary point, 5 sixths. So if I substitute that back in to the original curve, I can find its y-coordinate. So 3 lots of 5 sixths squared, take away 5 lots of 5 sixths, plus 2. And that gives me and not, not, something not particularly friendly for my calculator, sadly. So let's do this a bit a long way. So we've got 25 twelfths, take away 5 lots of 5, divided by 6, so minus 25 twelfths plus 2. Doesn't like that at all. So uh, we get down to minus 25 twelfths plus 2, so 24 twelfths. OK, so that's just uh, minus 1 twelfth. My calculator doesn't seem to really like writing that down, OK, for some reason. Who knows? So 5 sixths minus 1 twelfth. That's the coordinates of the singular stationary point of this parabola. Now, you should get the same result by completing the square on that, OK? So very quickly, if we factor the 3 out of the first two terms, x squared minus 5 thirds x plus 2. Then complete the square on the inside, so x take away 5 sixths squared, take away 25 over 36 plus 2. OK, so 3 lots of x minus 5 sixths squared. We get 3 lots... Um, of the minus 25 over 36, so minus 25 twelfths, plus the 2 is minus a twelfth. OK, so we get the 5 sixths minus a twelfth, as we got before, from completing the square. OK, so it confirms the result, effectively. Showing that our method has worked. OK, so that's number 1. Now, we can't do completing the square uh, to check for number 2. We've just got to use this method now. So number 2, go straight in with dy by dx. So we're going to get 6x squared uh, plus 6x minus 12. So stationary points exist when dy by dx is 0. So if we put the dy by dx equal to 0, we can divide everything by 6. OK, so this is a quadratic that we can factorise to get x plus 2x minus 1. So either x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to 1. So for both of those, we can substitute in to get y values. So we've got 2 lots of minus 2 cubed. Uh, plus 3 lots of minus 2 squared. Uh, take away 12 lots of minus 2 plus 1. And that's 21. So minus 2, 21 is one of the stationary points, one of the turning points of this curve. And the second one is going to be 2 plus 3, take 12 plus 1, so minus 6. So 1 minus 6. OK, so this is a cubic curve, uh, so it will look something like this. And what we've done is we've found the coordinates of those two turning points, minus 221 and this one, 1 minus 6.
OK? That's what we found. Right, so that's number two. OK, so if we have a look at number three, we've got y is equal to x over root x, take away x. So in order to differentiate that, I'm going to have to simplify it first. So if I write that as x times x to the minus a half, so it's x to the 1 times x to the minus a half, take away x. So that will just be x to the half. OK, so adding the indices 1 take away half is just a half. So this is the same as root x. So now I can differentiate that. So dy by dx, half comes down to the front, take 1 off the power. And the minus x differentiates to minus 1. So stationary points exist when this is equal to 0. So if I add the 1 to both sides and times both sides by 2, I'll get x to the minus a half is equal to 2. Now, if I use the reciprocal of both sides, that means that x to the half will be equal to 1 half. OK? I could then square both sides, and so x must be equal to 1 quarter. So that is the x-coordinate of the stationary point. So then I can substitute that into the original curve. So uh, into either of those, really. So what do we have? We've got 1 over 4 divided by the square root of 1 over 4 and take away 1 over 4, which gets us 1 over 4, believe it or not. So 1 quarter, 1 quarter, that's the coordinates of the stationary point for that curve.